How you doing? Working on a uh, 01 L300 3.0 liter V6 uh, Saturn. The car is an abortion, the way they designed this. Uh, working on doing the fuel injectors. On the upper part of this intake, got to remove various size 8 and 10 torques, bits, inverted torques. Move the electric brackets here. Let's pull that off, lay them to the side. This. Your uh, vacuum booster line, it's got to be undone. I forget what size nut that was on there. 19 mil? 19 mil, that's a 19 mil. Then your EGR back here, instead of removing the throttle body assembly and everything, just disconnected this hard line to the EGR. You need to get two 15 16s on there, but uh, my wrench, wrenches were fairly slim, so I was able to squeeze one in there. If you got really wide wrenches, you're gonna have a hard time holding that. All right, we're not gonna pull all of these rubber grommets off. On this, we're gonna try to take that uh, upper manifold off in one piece. The back, we're gonna have to disassemble, I think, to get around the uh, fuel lines. I'm getting ready to disconnect those now. Uh, best thing to do before you start working, Pull your uh, fuel pump fuse, start the car, pull a fuse, fuel pump fuse, let it depressurize the system. What I did is I just took, uh, I bled out the uh, pressure testing valve. And I'm, I'm shot today, I can't even remember the name. It's a Schrader valve, I just depressed it and bled the uh, system. You disconnect your uh, MAF sensor plug and the uh, line around the throttle body and the upper part of your air box. Just get that out of the way. We were going to remove the throttle body. It's got two nuts up here. I think they're 10 millimeter. And then one down in the center here. But we're gonna to try to leave the throttle body in place. Remove the various vacuum lines. Got one more plug. This has gotta come off. All right, I'm not gonna babble you to death and show you every nut and bolt coming off of this. We'll get back to it when I get the uh, upper intake plenum or manifold off. Okay, Okay. got the three pieces of the intake, upper intake off. We had to take the front and back off with those uh, rubber seals. Stick a screwdriver in there and just pop those clamps. They're like two little hands that grab each other. Then the center piece will come out. Got to remove a couple of more electric connectors and vacuum lines and whatnot. Now we're getting down to the fuel rails and the uh, harness for the uh, injectors. I believe these, you gotta pry these two little clips off and then get those plugs out. I'm taking my time and being very gentle. These things get fragile and brittle with the uh, heat and time. All right, next step is uh, trying to work on getting that fuel rail out. I disconnected the fuel lines. If you don't know what a uh, fuel line tool is, how to disconnect them, you probably shouldn't be going with this job. Uh, let me show you one of them. This one right here. There's a 3 8 line. Just put that on. Goes into the line and depress it. The little fingers that hold the fuel line on. Alright, I'm going to try to get that fuel rail off now. Okay, I just could disconnected all the fuel injector plugs. Uh, these come in a wide variety of designs, and sometimes you can't find any info on how to undo these. I couldn't find anything with these, but hold this camera for me, please, on here. Hold it where you can see what I'm doing. Take a curved needle nose, get on each side of these electro metal clips, and push in. you got to depress them from the side. Gently, be careful with them. Just depress them, and then they pop off, all right? There's one on each side with those metal rings. I got it. Now I gotta remove these three. I think they're tens to take the fuel rail off. Or they eights. They're tens, right? I'll tell you right now, that's a ten. Yeah, the E10 torques. Gotta remove those three. When you're doing this, be careful not to get debris or anything in the engine. Those clips on the uh, fuel injectors sometimes go flying and you don't wanna lose the O-rings down in the intake manifold. Okay. Again, I can't stress too much. Be gentle with those injector plugs. You start breaking them, you're gonna have a world of problems. All right. 
Okay, we've got the fuel rail out at the Illusionos 3 retaining bolts that are number eight, eight Torx. Uh, you take a screwdriver, get under here, gently start prying it up. Be careful not to mar up the threading of the hole for the mounts. And you just gotta work that loose. Some of the injectors might get stuck in there. Uh, five out of six of the injectors, the, pl the rings got stuck in the fuel rail. If you can see the ring right there, this is the only one that the ring came out. So you got to get a pick tool and get them out. You got to remove these rings, these retaining clips. They hold the injectors on. You got to make sure you try not to mar them up too bad and put them back on. They go from the inside out. Okay. Be careful not to get debris from inside that orifice into the engine. We're gonna clean that out with either Q-tips or a small piece of paper towel so it doesn't get down into the intake ports on a manifold, all right? Now somebody was supposed to have done the valve cover gaskets on this and it does not look like they did it. This guy bought this car from a shyster dealer in Trey, New York. What's the name of the place? Genron Sitco. What is it? Genron Sitco. Yeah, don't buy any cars from this guy, he's a fuck. Negative advertising for him. This is the second time he bought a car that had issues. He gave him a, a shot and thought he might have just got a little screwed up himself with the first car, but this is the second time, same no, garbage. Somebody car. mangled third I car. One first car I got well, fucked. look at the side. This is somebody that makes three mistakes over and over again. I wonder when no, I'm going to get the, the fourth car. second one, I didn't get, make no mistake. I got a good car. Okay, bye. Okay, since we broke this engine down this far, we replaced the coil packs because of an issue with one of the uh, cylinders being flooded and arcing over so the boot was damaged. So I figured while this is down to this level, replace both the front and rear coil pack on here. All right, you got to make sure the front goes to the front, the back to the back. They're different part numbers because they're angled at a different angle. All right, they won't fit in right otherwise. I myself like to use silicone based grease as it won't eat up the o-rings and I clean these up all the orifices for the uh, fuel injectors and lightly grease them with silicone grease as I did the o-rings on the injectors now you got to make sure the injectors go on right you got a tab here and a tab here that have to line up and then on a retainer clip one of the tabs goes in there, and then the tab goes in the back. And there's a little slot on the injector. You can't sink them in too far, or it won't grab. You see how it's going inside of that injector a little bit? You have to make sure both of those tabs line up for the injectors to lock up right. All right? So you reinstall all the injectors on the fuel rail. Then, with a little finesse, you got to work them back in. So you don't damage these O-rings. You got double O-rings here. You can tear them if you try animal in that back in. You got to do it nice and gently and evenly. Okay. Now I'm going to get back to uh, putting the fuel rail back on and then uh, start reassembling the engine. I hope this video helps you some.